everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you again for joining me. Today we're gonna do a review on the new Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Actually, this is not really new. I believe, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. I believe this is a new packaging for the Creaseless Concealer, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of compare it to the Shape Tape. Now, I have been kind of using both of these. I have mentioned before in the past that even though I love my Shape Tape for my clients, for myself, I feel like it's a little bit too much on the heavy side and I start looking a little bit older. It kind of settles into my creases and it's just a little too heavy for me. Now, let me tell you about this one. For those of you that have mature skin, dry skin, I believe this is actually gonna be something you are absolutely absolutely are gonna love because this just glides on it doesn't crease it doesn't get into your fine lines it just settles really nicely I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to the shape tape so that you could see the difference now it is a full coverage concealer and when I when I was first kind of playing with it I felt like it was a little bit too much on the dewy side for me but it just settles nicely and that's what I'm saying if you have a dry skin you're gonna love it because Sometimes when you have certain heavy concealers and stuff and you start putting it on top of anything that's dry or anything like that, it starts getting a little bit heavy and cakey and then you really see the lines coming out. So this thing is absolutely amazing. Okay, so this is the difference between them. There's not a lot because I mean, they're both really heavy found or concealers, but the thing is, this one has a little bit of a dewiness that just kind of stays there and it just feels like really hydrating and nice underneath. I've mentioned before in the past that I am really dry, so that's one of the reasons why I can't use the Shape Tape. So another thing I mentioned before that I do love using my fingers I'm like putting my hand up. I like using my fingers when I put concealer on because I feel like the warmth of it kind of glides it on and just warms up that product. But let me tell you, with this one right here, it's kind of hard for me to, and this is just my opinion, it's kind of hard for me to kind of move it around with my finger as you could see. And then when I put it on with the brush, it's just not really to me anyway. And that's like a miracle for me to say because as much as I love buying the beauty blenders, I'm a brush girl. So as much as I love my brush and stuff, I don't feel like it does it justice. You kind of have to work hair. You kind of have to work the beauty blender just to get that product really nice and settled. Because I, I just feel like it works out because of the way it sits because it's just really heavy. As you can see, it is a little bit on the dewy side which is why I'm saying if you have dry skin, you're gonna absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the Shape Tape on the other side. And with this one, I kinda like using the brush because I could really move that product around and drag it. But with the other one, with the creaseless one, as you as you saw, you I couldn't really do it. I had a little bit more issues working this one with my fingers so I believe that the sponge is a lot better anyway that's just my quick little review I just I think it's a beautiful concealer it doesn't crease it's very heavy it's very dewy it leaves your skin hydrated if you have under eye patches I know a lot of people are really dry underneath the eyes if you have mature skin I think you're really going to enjoy this even if you have dry skin also. I have really oily skin, but I'm really dry underneath. So I'm just really excited that I picked this up and started playing around with it because I'm, as much as I love this, it just doesn't work for my skin. But this is like a saving grace. It's been amazing. Anyway, that's my quick review on this little concealer. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you again for my next video. Bye.